next on the Gospel Bill Show. Hey, Mr. Tudwater, just came by to put your mind at rest. Oh, really? And just how are you going to do that? Well, I figured you'd heard Gospel Bill's left town for a few days and just wanted you to know he put the best looking, the toughest, and I might add, smartest deputy in charge he's ever had, namely me. And if there's anything I can do for you in the next couple of days, uh, don't you hesitate to call on me. Yeah, you really are something. Put your hands up. Armed and ready. Well, Nicodemus, what are you doing with all those guns? Well, your message said you needed me at the jail real quick, so I figured you wanted me to help you round up some desperate outlaws. Listen, I didn't have in mind that you'd bring down the whole Union arsenal. I mean, uh, I only wanted you to watch the jail for a couple of days. Well, you know what they say. You can never have too many. Well, I hadn't seen that many guns on one fella since the Civil War. It's better to be safe than sorry. Who are you picking up, anyway? Well, I gotta go down to Alkali Flats and bring a fellow back to Dry Gulch to stand trial. His name is Harry Blanton. Harry Blanton of the Blanton Brothers gang? Ooh, they're really desperate. Oh, they got uh, Harry, Larry, and Gary, and don't they have a sister named Mary? Well, I wouldn't know that. That's a mean bunch of outlaws. Yeah, well, listen. This guy's not gonna be any trouble because he's already locked up. So you take the badge and put it on, and you be real careful about how you treat the folks at Dry Gulch, and whatever you do, don't let those guns get away from you. You can count on me, GB. Don't give it a second thought. Listen, I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I reckon I better be in making rounds. Will Bill make you deputy? Yeah, he did. Oh, you look so handsome in that badge. Yeah, Gospel Bill put the welfare of all the citizens of this here town in these two very capable hands. Oh. Well, I'd love to stand here and chat with you all day. Nothing that pleased me more, but uh, duty calls. I got rounds I gotta make. Uh, good day, little lady. Oh, what a brave man. Yeah, I am. You know, it just feels good. Psst, Larry, come on. You know, I think that sheriff's doing us quite a favor by bringing our brother Harry out of prison for us. Yeah, but how are we going to get our brother away from that sheriff? Well, you know, I figure that sheriff wouldn't mind trading our brother Harry for one of the citizens of this town. You mean, uh, hold somebody for, a uh, ransom? Yeah. Hey, yeah, Miss Lana, I reckon I'm the toughest, the smartest, the best-looking deputy sheriff this town's ever had. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's all a going to waste. What? Well, here I am, Miss Lena, with all this talent just a oozing out of me, and it's going to waste. I mean, when was the last time you seen a group of, say, 50 hombres come a-riding in and just shoot the whole town up? Never. See what I mean? And when was the last time you seen a couple of fellas get drunk over at the saloon and just shoot the whole place up? We don't have a saloon. It's exactly what I'm a talking about. And when was the last time a couple of fellers get this notion to just go over and blow up Tutwater's bank safe with dynamite? That's never happened. You see what I mean? Here I am with all this talent just a oozing out of me, and I don't have a place to use it because nothing ever happens around this town. Nicodemus, we don't want those kind of things to happen here. That's why folks come to live in Dry Gulch, because it's a nice, quiet, peaceful community. Well, that might be all right for the common man. But I was born for adventure. 
You got any mail for the new deputy sheriff, Miss Lana? Well, let's just look and see. Oh, good. But I didn't see anything this morning. Well, uh, uh, check under H for handsome. Hey, go on, it's got to be up there somewhere. Well, since we're going to kidnap somebody, and we got to kidnap somebody important, why don't we kidnap the storekeeper in there? Well, it's all right with you, it's all right with me. Well, it's all right with me, I just wanted to know what you thought about it. Well, I just told you what I think about it. Well, she is only the storekeeper. She's not that important. Maybe there's somebody else we could pick. Well, is that a yes or no? Well, I don't know. What do you think? I just told you what I think. Well, I'll leave her. Here comes a deputy. Worm! I got worm for sale! Well, well howdy, ma'am. You want to buy some worm? Should I take that as a no? Howdy, Elmer. Tell me, how's it going? Well, business could be better. That ain't what I'm talking about. Uh, listen, Gospel Bill's out of town, and I'm the law enforcement here now, and I just wanted to know, you witnessed any serious crimes? Here in Dry Gulch? You do know a crime takes place every three minutes and 28 seconds, don't you? Are you pulling my leg? Elmer, crime is no laughing matter. Has anybody been eyeing them worms? You mean like this? Kind of makes me dizzy. That ain't what I'm talking about. I want to know if anybody maybe's been looking to steal your worms. Steal them? Shucks, no, I can't even give them away. Well, just remember, you see anybody look suspicious, don't hesitate to call, because Nick is on the job. Boy, I feel safer already. Worms! I got worms to say! Can't someone get that buffoon off of my porch? Honey, Mr. Tudwater just came by to put your mind at rest. Oh, really? And just how are you gonna do that? Well, I figured you'd heard Gospel Bill's left town for a few days, and I just wanted you to know he put the best looking, the toughest, and I might add, smartest deputy in charge he's ever had. Namely, me. And if there's anything I can do for you in the next couple of days, uh, don't you hesitate to call on me. Well, now, uh, Nicodemus, I don't suppose in your vast intelligence you happened to notice on your way in that buffoon selling worms on my porch, did you? Mean Elmer? I mean Elmer Barnes. Well, sure, I seen him, but I figure me running off of worm peddlers a little blow my lawman skills, you know. <laughs> well, let me tell you something about lawman skills, Buster. Um... Well, how about just taking a seat, Nicodemus? Sure, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, Nicodemus, have you ever heard the story of the pearl? Huh? Yeah, yeah, you take just a very small grain of sand, and when that sand is introduced into a very innocent oyster, through a series of constant agitation, what develops is the beautiful pearl. Now, Nicodemus, wouldn't you love to be a pearl of a lawman? Well, yeah. Well, then get that lumbering fish head off of my porch. Well, sure, Tudwater. Why didn't you just say so? <clears throat> well, what do you think of this guy? Well, he uh, seems to be pretty bright. I don't even know why I'd bother asking. Come on, let's go. Hey, uh, Elmer, I want you to move this here worm business down the street a little bit. No, I ain't gonna do it. This is the best place in town. Come on, Elmer, just down the street a little bit. No, I don't have to. This is a free country. <sighs> Say, uh, Elmer, you ever heard of the, uh, ozone layer? You mean Charlie, the old bone players back in town? No, I mean the ozone layer. See, up in the sky, way up there, there's this thing called a ozone layer, and the sun's rays shine down through it like this, see? And, well, if them rays coming through the ozone layer, I've heard if they hit worms, just ruins them for fishing. Fish won't bite them no more. Is that for true? Well, it seemed like I heard that somewhere. And... You know, maybe I ought to move down under that shade tree to protect my worms. You mean that uh, shade tree right down the street there? Yep. Pretty good idea, Elmer. I'm glad you thought of that. Well, thanks, Nick. 
morning. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Stopping Elmer Barnes from selling worms. The people of this town don't realize what kind of prize they got in me. Why, when you look up the word quick draw in the dictionary, you find my picture. I'm wonderful. I am marvelous. I am Nicodemus. Sheriff! Sheriff! You're not the sheriff! Where's the sheriff? Well, he had to leave town for a few days, little man. Left me in charge. What can I do for you? My dog's rip up another dog. You've got to break him up. A dog fight? Well, don't you know Come who on. I am? Why? Oh, hot doggy, whoopity dooty dooty do. Let me tell you about the exciting day I've had, Miss Lana. Why, just a few minutes ago, right out in front of the bank, I stood face to face, eye to eye, with a fierce worm peddler, and I evicted him right out of the streets of Dragos. Yeah, and then a little bit later, me, single-handedly, with the help of this here boot, why, I broke up the fiercest dog fight I guess I've ever seen. Even included a French poodle. Yeah, all oh, the people of Dragos really got their tax dollars worth out of me today. Why, if something don't happen pretty soon, I'm going to dry up and blow away from sheer boredom. Oh, well, Nicodemus, you ought to be happy. Well, these are the kind of days that Gospel Bill likes. I mean, he gets all these paperwork done. Well, that might be fine for GB, but me and paperwork never did get along. I was put on this earth for an entirely different purpose. Have I ever shown you my quick draw? Oh, no. Yeah. You want to see it again? Uh, get out of here. I'm telling you, if something don't happen soon, me and all this talent's just going to shrivel up and die. Well, you better find somebody fast. We're running out of choices. Well, if you weren't so picky. It's pity what it is. Pity, pity, pity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, fellas. You know, it's a crying shame, ain't it? Just a crying shame. All this potential to fight outlaws in one feller and can't use it here in dry goes. Why, it'd be one thing if we had herds of outlaws running through this town, but nah, never does happen here. You know, I can spot an outlaw from three miles away. That's how I got the nickname, Eagle Eye. That's what they call me. Well, just a shame. Somebody as big and important as me just wasting away in dry gulch. I guess I'm known all through the county, even fur beyond, but, well, it's, it's just a shame it's what it is. You fellas know what I mean? Yeah, I knew you did. Have a good day. Well, he's big and he's important. Tired of arguing with you. What's it gonna be? Yes or no? Well, I want to be agreeable with you. So if it's all right with you, well, it's all right with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no sense even practicing my quick draw. No chance to use it around here. But on the other hand, Life desperado might come slinking into town, and I'll get to put all my talents to use. All right, dirt bag, draw. <laughs> yeah, I am really something. Put your hands up. The Bland brothers. Uh, uh, hey, Larry. Uh, Gary. Uh, how's the sister Mary? Well, she's all right. You know, putting on a little weight lately. Well, I'm in a real hard place here. I don't know whether to just tie you up or knock you out. What do you think? Well, it's all right with me if it's all right with you. Yeah, I knew it. Ooh, quite a little feisty fella, ain't he? 
Well, I think so. Uh, if it's all right with you. Never mind. Well, you're quite a little prize, ain't you? I figure the sheriff will trade you for our brother Harry. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I guess we can take that as a yes. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Something's not right there. Come on back here. Hey, you ain't doing so good. What's the matter? Haven't you read the rule book on being a good hostage? Well, rule number one says you gotta cooperate. I said cooperate. <laughs> hey, the sale's on fire! Fire! Hold it right there, boys. Hands up. The only place you guys are going is right back in that jail. Come on. Hey, Miss Lana. Nicodemus, I heard what happened. Are you all right? Yeah, I I'm fine. Well, are you sure those men didn't hurt you? Nah, they didn't hurt me. But if they would have, it would have been my own stupid fault the way I was acting. I mean, running around town, my head swell out to here, telling everybody what a big deal I was. You know, it's just like the Bible says, you shouldn't ought to think of yourself more high than you are. Well, I got my own self in trouble. It also says pride comes before fall, and that's exactly what happened to me. I ain't no big deal at all. I'm just a little deal. Well, Nicodemus, you'll always be a big deal to me. You really mean it? Yeah, because I like you just the way you are. Well, thank you, Miss Lynn. That means a whole lot coming from you. Uh, along that same line, uh, you think I'm handsome? Well, you're good looking. Yeah, but do you think I'm real good looking? Nicodemus. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hmm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. <laughs> you know, when you think about it that way, it's like we're in a real battle. What would it be like to be in a real battle? I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm 
What a dream. It's so real. Whoa. Howdy. I'm Gospel Bill, and this is Dry Gulch, USA. And I want to invite you to a week of camp this summer that you'll never forget. When you come to Dry Gulch, USA, you can stay in a log cabin that looks just like an Old West storefront. But there's a lot more to Dry Gulch, USA than just eating and sleeping. Our camp has more than a mile and a quarter shoreline on beautiful Lake Hudson. And it's just a perfect place for a canoe ride. You can go fishing and swimming. But maybe you're the kind who would prefer to ride horses or ride in the county jail wagon. You might enjoy visiting Chief Nwanasin for an exciting campfire story or hunt animal targets on the Chief's trail. Then there's time for a shooting contest and hiking trails. Hey, there's plenty to do at Dry Gulch USA, but the most important reason for coming is so you can grow strong in the Lord. For more information on Camp Dry Gulch USA, call 918-234-5656. Old Nicodemus learned it the hard way. When you become proud and boastful, you head right into trouble. Well, those outlaws wouldn't have dared picked on him to kidnap had they not heard him brag. But because he bragged, they thought he was really important, a real somebody. So that's why they decided to kidnap him. You know, when you become boastful and proud, you always set yourself up for a fall. Because pride goes against God. You see, you can't have God's blessings and be proud at the same time. If somebody's going to brag on you, let it be other people. But don't brag on yourself because you always get yourself into trouble when you become full of pride. Coming up next, while the cat's away, the mice will play. But when Margaret's the cat, what will Jim do? Watch Father Knows Best. Then at 8.30 Eastern, Hazel plays Peacemaker and gets George out of a jam on Hazel. Here on the Family Channel. Thank you.